Hello guys, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be debunking the whole argument saying that Ricky is Sally Acorn and it was her first appearance or first design as people were trying to say because people get stuff mixed up just because Ricky was later, later named Sally Acorn. It's not exactly the character you see in the Saturday morning cartoon or in the Archie comic. So I'm going to be debunking the argument today on the Sonk News Network. Network. So let's see. The Ricky is a creature in the Sonic the Hedgehog series, which first appeared in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. They are a race of squirrel animals that live across various regions all over Sonic's world and are close friends of Sonic the Hedgehog and his allies. The Rickies are constantly targeted by Dr. Eggman, who seeks to use them as energy sources for his various bad nicks and often imprison them, pris imprisons them in capsules for later use. So as you can see, that's what they are. So this is just the description of what they, you know, what they look like. So you guys can read that, but it's just a description of what they look like. <clears throat> in the original Sonic the Hedgehog games and illustrations, and illustrations are depicted in Sonic the Hedgehog, the screen server. The Rickies have four digits on each hand, while Sonic the Hedgehog 2's illustrations and all subsequent games depict them with five digits on each hand. I did not know that. That's an interest that's an interesting fact, so I just had to read that. The characteristics are like actual animals. The Rickies the Rickies can only speak in a language consisting of small ook sounding noises. Although recognized as animal life, Rickies are remarkably intelligent and sociable, being cap capable of understanding normal language and establishing their own animal communities. Our all Rickies are generally good-hearted, helpful, friendly, and playful, but their small st stature leaves li stature leaves them rather defenseless on their own. They also have great respect and appreciation for nature, choosing to live in complete harmony with it. The habitat is Rickies inhabit various natural environments like forests all over Earth, and its unusual satellites such as South Island, West Side Island, Little Planet, Angel Island, and the Lost Hex, where they have established their own small villages more often than not with other animal species. So you can see that's the appearance, the first appearance. All right. The first appearance of Rickies was in the 16... 16-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog. In this game, the Rickies were some sort of Sonic's animal friends on South Island whom Sonic went to source after Dr. Robotnik captured them and turned them into power sources for, the, for his Batniks, all as a part of a plot to collect the Chaos Emeralds. They can be found in Marble Zone where they pop out of destroyed Batniks or the open capsule at the end of the third act. They also appear in the ending cinematic where they celebrate Sonic's victory. As far as we are reading, there's no indication that they were first appeared as Sally Acorn. But here's the kicker. We're about to get to the end where they talk about how Sally Acorn, you know, name change and stuff like that. You know, how Ricky's name changes to Sally Acorn. Because it's just an inspiration of Sally Acorn. It's not exactly Sally Acorn. So, let's keep reading this. In the 8-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog, the Rickies were some sort of Sonic's animals friends on South Island, whom he went to rescue after Dr. Robotnik captured them and used them to power his Batniks. All as a part of the plot to collect the chaos. It was kind of similar to what we first read for the other one. Here, they appear from the open capsule at the end of Jungle Zone Act 3. So, we, we're, um... So, this is... <clears throat> here's another one. In the 16-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Rickies repeated their roles from the first title in this game. They and the other animals of West Side Island were captured by Dr. Robotnik and used to power Batnik workers, which Robotnik needed to finish the Death Egg. The Rickies can be found in Emerald Hill Zone, where they pop out of destroyed Batniks or the open capsule at the end of the second act. So, right here, it says, in the 8-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, all the Rickies on South Island were kidnapped by Dr. Robotnik. In this game, they appear from the open capsule at the end of the third act for Green's, Green Hill Zone. So, <clears throat> this is what we're hearing so far about the Rickies and stuff. 
In Sonic the Hedgehog CD, the Rickies are shown to inhabit Little Planet. In this game, Rickies will appear and happily prance around in the zones of Palm Tree Panic and Quartz Quadrant alongside other animals with certain conditions are met. The players can either ensure a good future for these rounds by collecting their time stone or destroying the robot transporters hosted there to make the Rickies appear in the good futures. Or they can destroy a zone's metal sign projector to make the Rickies appear in every time frame of said zone. <clears throat> so it's basically showing like a timeline of the Rickies and where they appear. So... In Sonic and Knuckles, in its lock-on game, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Knuckles, the Rickies reprise their role from the first main installments. In this game, the Rickies and the other an animals of Angel Island were captured and turned into, a, into Batniks by Dr. Robotnik to aid the Doctor with the re relaunch of the de Death Egg. <clears throat> the Rickies can be found in the Mushroom Hill Zone. Flying Battery Zone, and Death Egg Zone, where they pop out of the destroyed Batniks or open capsules. Excluding the Death Egg Zone, which has no capsules. So... In the beginning of Knuckles' storyline, a herd of Rickies and Cookies, I guess is how you pronounce it, can be seen playing around in the Mushroom Hill Zone, where Knuckles is relaxing until an Egg Robo scares them away by dropped, by dropped a bomb down scare them away by i guess it's dropping or dropped a bomb down in front of knuckles so let's look at sonic the hedgehog's game world in sonic the hedgehog's game world ricky is singing along with sonic tails amy and other animals here ricky appears on a pair of cards featured in the concentration mini game the japanese version of the game also features ricky in the poker game and I don't know how to pronounce that. So <laughs> please tell me how to pronounce that. But that's what it says. Sonic the Hedgehog, the screen saver. In Sonic the Hedgehog, the screen server, the Rickies make several small cam cameos in several of the game's artwork images as one of Sonic's friends. So there's another one, Song Jam. In Song Jam, the game's character's house features conceptual... Conceptual... Sketches of Ricky and the other animals. So, this is gonna, <laughs> looking at what I'm reading, this is gonna be a pretty long video, but I'm gonna have to debunk this. About the whole thing about Sally Acorn being Ricky, or they're the same character. In Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure, the Rickies reprise their roles from the first main titles where they are captured by Dr. Eggman and used to power his badniks. In this game, they have either light brown, red, or light yellow fur. Rickies can be found in every zone in the game where they pop out of destroyed badniks or open capsules. Several animals, including Ricky, are also seen in the game's perfect ending that appears after clearing chaotic space zone where they cheer over Sonic's victory over Eggman. In Sonic Rush, Ricky's pop on the screen along with Flickies and Pockies every time the player manages to pull off advanced trick actions. In Sonic Dash, yeah, this I mentioned, you know, I, I talked about this. You see Ricky's in Sonic Dash. In Sonic Dash, Ricky's make an appearance in the game's update to version 4.0.04. In the game, players are able to collect collect them by destroying Batniks once the Green Hill Zone is unlocked and can use them to rebuild both the Green Hill Zone and Temple Zone. Charmy, Silver, Espio, Classic Sonic, and Big also have an infinity bonus towards the Rickies, which will double the amount of Rickies saved while playing. In Sonic Lost World, the Rickies and other animals are shown to inhabit the Lost Hex. During the events of the game, Dr. Eggman, with the assistance of Deadly Six of the Deadly Six, resumed kidnapping animals, the Flickies being among them, to create a new Batnik army. A single Ricky and a few other animals who managed to escape capture remained with Knuckles and Amy while Sonic and Tails went out to save their friends during which they had fun at the ex expense of Knuckles. 
The rickies and other animals serve as co collectible content used to progress with the game. Once the players have collected a set of amount of animals, they gain access to the fourth zone in which world, in, I said in which world, in each world. The player can collect rickies by defeating batniks, opening smaller capsules in the zones, and opening the larger capsules at the end of the most zones. Rikis and other animals can also be collected by circus tents. The Rikis can be found in in the following places, depending on the versions of of the game. So, yeah, there was a lot of <laughs> a lot of unexpected places I didn't know the Rikis appeared in. So in Super Super Smash Bros. for WIIU, a Ricky appears along alongside other animals as a part of one of the collectible trophies representing the Sonic the Hedgehog series. So here it is. You guys can read that. Pause the video if you guys are interested in reading that. Excluding the trophy, the Ricky also occasionally makes a cameo appearance in the background of the Windy Hill Zone. So let's read this as well. In Sonic Runners, the Rickies played supporting roles to the main cast in the storyline. In this game, most individual Rickies are referred to as Ricky. Over the course of the game, Team Sonic comes across the Rickies several times, whom they usually save from Dr. Eggman and or his lackeys. Occasionally, the Rickies will also ask the team for help solving different problems, whether it be either Eggman related trouble or more personal issues. Sometimes sometimes though, the Rikis will help Team Sonic as well, usually by providing information or handling smaller tasks. In gameplay, Rikis will pop out of destroyed Batniks and bounce a little further down the path before falling behind the player. If a player grabs them as they pass by, the player will end up their combo and earn 2,500 bon bonus points on the result screen for each Ricky. Sonic, in Sonic Runner's Adventure, the Rickies reprise their roles as power sources for Dr. Eggman's Batniks. In gameplay, Rickies will pop out of destroyed Batniks in any stage and bounce them out of the player's sight. So, in Sonic Mania and its expansion, expansion Sonic Mania Plus, the Rickies reprise their roles from the Sonic games on the Sega Genesis by being organic power sources for Dr. Eggman's Batniks again. In gameplay, the Rickies pop out of destroyed Batniks or the open capsule at the end of the second act of the zones they appear in in 1.03 of Sonic Mania and the versions prior to it. The Rickies can be found in Chemical Plant Zone, Flying Battery Zone, Stardust Speedway Zone, Act 1, and Lava Reef Zone. In 1.5713 of... In 1.5.713... Of Sonic Mania and Sonic Mania Plus, on the other hand, the Rickies appear only in Flying Battery Zone and Stardust Speedway Zone Act 1. So many words. Process. When the player destroys, destroys the Metal Sonic Projector at the end of the Stardust Speedway Zone Act 2, several Rickies will occasionally appear until they are chased, by, chased off by Metal Sonic. Also, during the ending of the end Knuckles mode in Sonic Mania, a Ricky can be seen listening to Knuckles' retelling of the game's events. So... Okay, as you can see down here, I'm gonna, we're gonna get into Sally. <clears throat> in Sonic Forces, Rickies can be found inside capsules in blue SOS mission at random. The objective of these missions is to rescue the Rickies and the other prisoners in the capsule using either Sonic, so Classic Sonic, the Avatar, or Shadow. After the Rickies and the other prisoners have been freed from their capsule, the player has to complete their stage to complete the SLS mission. So let's look at the other media and then we'll look at Sally Acorn here. Here we go. <clears throat> 
In Sonic the Hedgehog television series, Rika's design served as an inspiration. You see, you see the, right there on the screen says inspiration. Inspiration for an anthropomorphic female chipmunk named Sally. In this media, Sally is the princess and heir to the kingdom of Mobotropolis, but was forced into hiding when Dr. Eggman overthrew her father. Finding sanctuary in Naho village. She became the field leader of the Naho Freedom Fires to proclaim their home. Over the years, she developed romantic feelings for the team for her teammate Song the Hedgehog. Additionally, Ricky's in a game Ricky's in game design served as inspiration for the recurring background character that occasionally appeared within the first season. So basically it was just an inspiration guys. Let's go down. So Ricky and the Sonic X. In the Sonic he- in the Sonic X franchise, the Rickies are an animal species native to Sonic's world. Several of them got sent to Earth sent to Earth by Chaos Control, but they they were returned home not not long afterwards. So let's look at the Sonic the Hedgehog comic. Ricky, along with other animal friends, appears in Sonic the he- Sonic the Hedgehog story comic manga. He appears in few panels. In first and third stories, in Song of the Hedgehog story comic volume two, the story, story clash is so many words that are just put together. South Island Picky or Ricky tells it's probably just Picky tells the song that Ricky and Cucky have become badniks. Later in Sparkling Zone, Song destroys these badniks and rescues Ricky and Cucky. Who then lead to lead Sonic to Star Land Zone, where they saw animals getting imprisoned to the capsule. Sonic defeats Eggman and saves the animals from capsule. From the capsule. So, yeah. Here, let's look at the Archie comics. In the Sonic the Hedgehog comic series and its spinoffs published by Archie Comics. The character Sally from the Sonic the Hedgehog television series, were, which Ricky ex- inspired, was adapted as a part of the main cast name of Sally Alicia Acorn. So it's just an inspiration. It says time and time again, it's just an inspiration. They're not the exact same character. I'm debunking this right now. In this media, she was born during the Great War. She was raised as an only child to the Witterer King Maximilian. I don't know how to pronounce that. Acorn, and would not know the fate of her mother and older brother until years later. Sally was also raised and tutored by her wo- by her royal mentor, Jalila. <laughs> I'm pronouncing these words so wrong. Chipmunk and royal nursemaid Rosie Woodchuck. After Doctor Ivor Robotnik's takeover, the young Sally dedicated herself to the rescue of her father and kingdom. Inspired the original Freedom Fighters, Sally rallied her own band of friends and led them in raids against Mo- Robot Tropolis. Trop- Despite her youth, Sally showed an uncanny ability to lead, strategize, and hold her rat- rat- tag team of Hubi heroes together. Late in the first Robotnik War, Sally discovered a mysterious handheld device the a the ai running running it identified itself as nicole and would be sally's mentor and friend after the passing of i don't know how to say that word as sally led the friend fires to victory in the battle against dr robotnik she regained her family but faced a great deal of personal hardship her life of Please pronounce this word from. I think I said that word before in the video, but I still don't know how to pronounce these. Jurel. <laughs> Jurel, I don't know how to pronounce that. Warfare complete, conflicted with the formal, formal, formalities of royalty. Torn between the life she had and the one she thought she wanted, Sally's spirit was strained. The final blow came. When her first love, Sonic the Hedgehog, appeared to give his life for Mobius and then return from the dead. At her first, at her most confused, she broke up with Sonic for the time to prevent further heartbreak for herself. Why does it make me think of when she slapped Sonic in that one comic? I, I don't remember one, somebody, 
um, Carl Bowler or something, Kim Painter or something like that did that. Eventually, she recovered to her old self, chose her role as the team's field leader, and re repaired her damaged friendships. However, Sally barely skirted death after the first Genesis wave. She used her second chance at life to sabotage the Death Egg Mark II's world roboticizer. Her sacrifice saved Mobius, but turned her into one of Dr. Eggman's minions until the second Genesis wave arrived. So... After the Super Genesis wave, Sally's history remained basically the same, although with subtle differences. After retaking Mototropolis from Dr. Eggman after he seized power, Sally now leads the Freedom Force against the Eggman Empire. Aside from Sally, regular Rickies would over time also appear in the comics, first during Operation Clean Sweep and later as Fauna, Fauna native to Song's World after the Super Genesis wave. In the Sonic the Hedgehog comic series and its spinoffs published by IDW, IDW pu Publishing, the Rickies are a species of squirrel animals native to Sonic's world. Like in the games, they are being used by the Eggman Empire to power its badniks. Alright, so in Sonic the comic, Ricky was renamed Sally Corn. They re renamed. It wasn't exactly her. Just renamed. In this media, she is in Anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic female squirrel living alongside the Emerald Hill folk. Being Dr. Robotnik's takeover, Sally would often re be returned, not returned, be involved in bad Nick businesses and would need help, need Sonic's help with them. After Robotnik conquered Mobius, after, after Robotnik conquered Mobius, she would help the friend fighters protect their zone until she became a news reporter. So, this is not the same exact style you see in the Saturday morning cartoon in the Archie comics. So, this is where it comes in. This is where the whole confusion comes in, early canon. Early on in the series, when all the animals were, re were renamed by Sega of America for the rest Western media and market in the Song of Bible, Ricky's gender was defined as female and was named Squirrel in the Sonic's first in the I said Sonics in the Bible's first draft. It would rather it would later be re reimagined as Sally Acorn in Bible's second draft. According to the Sonic Bible, Sally Acorn comes from a large family like other animals. Is that the princess we see from the TV show The Arch Comics? No. Which was intended to explain the appearance of multiple identical Rickies in the games and help raise an Orphan Sonic. So this not this is this is not Sally Acorn. This is a whole nother character. People are saying, well, the name is Sally Acorn. That doesn't mean anything. In the Bible's first draft, Sally Acorn's hot Sonic how to lob acorns down from trees to pester the unsuspecting victims below. In the Bible's second draft, and in God Book Stay Sonic, though, it is it is said Sally Acorn's hot Sonic how to leap incredible instances. Usually sporting a pink pink bow, Ricky made a number of appearance, appearances in early Western media for the franchise, including the promotional comic release alongside the first game. So, yeah, this is... The Rickies were presum presumably created by Nyota Ashima, the character designer on the original Sonic the Hedgehog. So... Yeah, this is basically what the Rickies are. They aren't, they're not Sally Acorn, okay? There are, there are a number, there, there's a whole lot of Rickies. So there, there are certain species of an animal. They're, they're a type of squirrel. So reading this, I just debunked this. So we can stop, we can stop confusing Ricky with Sally Acorn because they're not the same. And I just feel like we have to deal with that. I'm not trying to mean this video. I just had to debunk this because people say, oh, well, in the game manu manual or song Bible, it was mentioned Sally Acorn, which is not the exact same character. Sally Acorn is a princess, the princess of Mobius, a freedom fighter, and that's not what Ricky is, okay? 
And just because that Sally Acorn that was appeared in the Sonic Bible was depicted as a female does not does not mean it was Sally Acorn. Looking at the details, you can tell it was not Sally Acorn. So, yeah, just had to debunk this. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Love y'all so much. And if you guys did not check out my video where I'm doing a rant on Omar Santiago, then check that out. Anyway, guys, love y'all so much. Peace.